What's going on everybody? This is Tyler Ralph. People have been asking about how to get a better pull up off the dribble. So today what we're going to work on is we're going to break down a push off the through the legs right into a step in. Right? We'll also work on turning into a step in, but we're going to break it all the way down. So I want to show you different ways that we work with a lot of our NBA players and on the way down to develop the characteristic needed to have that great pull up off the dribble. Okay, so what we're going to work on now is just a drill that is going to work on our timing. So I want to be left foot out, right? My right foot is back. That's a drop stance, right? If the ball's on my right, we're inverted. So we're gonna start in that inverted drop, I'm two dribbles. What I wanna do is I wanna wrap this ball around my back, okay? That is gonna give me that correct timing, like if I was pushing forward into that hesitation pull up. We are going to, as that ball gets to my left, I am going to drive my right foot through and my right hand at the same time into that shot. So that's gonna give us our correct timing into that pull up, right? So as I'm here, what you see, is I want to come wrap, ball gets to my left, and then when I step in, it's hand, right hand, right foot at the same time, so now I have one shot at the rim. A lot of times what you see players do is off their pull-ups, they'll pick the ball up early, the shot will start to go up, then their foot will hit, and now they'll have two different shots. Right, so this is going to work on your timing off your pickup. It's also going to work on that muscle memory, right, with that flow getting into that shot. Left hand pulling to, into my right hand into my shot. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go right in front of the rim. We're going to make five. All right, we're just working on that touch in front of the rim, working on that timing. Three. Right, and then we'll step it back. Okay, we'll go from the logo, and now we'll go two dribbles into it. Okay, don't worry about misses and makes. One. Two. All right, the other thing we want to do is, is concentrate on our eyes. So when I'm getting into this, kind of keep my eyes here at that defender and then be able to look up at that last second. Be able to locate that rim right off that pull up. Now free throw line with it. And we can start getting our jump in there a little bit, right? Elevating into that shot. Right, being quicker with our right foot driving through. Again, when we pull up, right, and I'm here, you can mix the timing right off that. Okay, so as I'm here and I'm bringing that ball into my pocket, it doesn't always have to be quick, right? I may hang it and then drive that foot through. When we drive this foot through, you want to think about if you jumped on a box, right? So if I was jumping, trying to get as high as I can, I step left, right? And then I would step with my right and my hands would come up at the same time as my right hip, right? So that's going to give me the correct elevation and timing into it. If I was already up with my hands and then my foot hit, I'm not going to be able to jump as high as I can right into that box or onto that box. So when we're shooting, it's right. What we want to do is have that correct timing. So now I have that ability to drive up and through that ball. One, it's going to create that one shot motion, right? But two, we're going to be able to elevate right higher and over people. All right, we just want to keep extending that range right back. So this is a great drill right, that you can do by yourself right, to try to give you that timing, right, but also just work from the rim and out, and that'll work on your touch into the shot. Right, as you move back, right, what a lot of coaches teach right, is more legs, and what that register for players is to drop lower, right? and we don't want that. 
right? We don't want you to drop lower, right? If you drop lower, right, now look at all, right, these mistakes that could happen coming up, right? We want to try to eliminate make mistakes in your shot, okay? So a couple things with this, right, is the power driving in, right? I don't want to, I don't have to be here, right, and drive up through, okay? One, that's going to be uncomfortable for your players, right? Two, it's a longer shot, right? Three, it's going to make more mistakes happen, right? I want to be powerful on my step in and then be able to drive up and through, right? And lock my hips out. So again, all my extension points, right? I want to lock out. And then the last one is going to be the most important, right? So once I get it up top, right, you got to work on having a stronger wrist, okay? So as I get here, right, my wrist and how I snap it, and the strength of that snap is going to change and that will right allow you now to increase your range coming back with this shot okay now we're going to break down more into the game realistic move of this so that was our technique working on our timing right now we're going to go combo right into that hesitation off your left hand so i'm going to combo right on the combo right what i want to do is try to get that defender into a heel lock position so as I combo, I can be quick, right, one, two, right, then maybe I can be slow to change my pace, right? But I want to know how much space I have. The other thing is I want to be able to get space. So that combo that I hit you, right, one, two, right, I want to be able to set you on your heels and then play in that space. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go cross, right? When I go cross through them, one, two, pace on my next. Right, I am then going through, right? As you go through, I wanna lift up, okay? So when I go through off this, I'm gonna lift, right? And this lift, right, is gonna tell you how much space I need. So as I push forward, right, if that defender is right there, I'm not gonna be able to push all the way into him, right? I wanna get here and maybe, right, stay in that same spot with that delayed drop coming in, right? I also, if I have a lot of space, right, I can, push forward then that gets you more into a heel lock where now I can step in but if you look at that last moment right when we're here and we land right that ball is here so just like we did right when we wrap behind the back right this is what we were working on picking the ball up through here into that shot okay so we want to be detailed right before in our warm-up right and then we get into putting in the game situations so I'm cross through cross through on the through i'm going to push forward right foot hits first then i'm left foot selling drive right eyes are to the angle as my right pulls in now i can lift my eyes to that rim timing on the pickup Right, and on this shot, what we're working on again, right, it's all about technique. I don't want to all of a sudden just shoot NBA threes. So when we're doing this, I want to be right here, okay? So when I'm walking into this, again, I'm just working on that touch, okay? Right, and that's what development is about, is developing in to out, right? Not all of a sudden just getting out here and thinking you can do it, right? We want to develop in the right way to give you the right timing, the right feel with each move we do. And as your eyes are, are a big key in this, as my eyes keep looking at that angle, that's going to make you think that I'm driving. So at that last moment, right, when I pull up, right, my eyes now lift up, right, to that rim. The other thing when we're making these moves, right, is chest up, right? I don't want to dip over, right? I want wide stance, chest up, okay? So now my wide stance creates the angles, right? My chest is going to give me balance to get in and out of moves or get into my shot right as quick as I can. Okay, now we're gonna talk about game situations with this move. Okay, the first we're gonna do, right, is a ball screen comes up, right, they switch it, right? So boom, I'm coming off ball screen, bang, now I pull it back out, right? When I pull it back out, now I have space. Okay, so now I have my elbows, right? I wanna let people clear if this is my matchup. Right now, a lot of times, right, bigs are afraid of guards driving them. So I want to hit you with my combo first. That's going to put you on your heels, and then I read it after. So once I hit that big, right, and they start to step back, 
Now I'm gonna start to play in that space and that's when we're gonna be able to get into this move. So I'm one, two, pace, I push at you, right? As I'm pushing in this lift is when I'm making my read. If you keep falling back, right, into a heel lock, then I am just gonna rise up over the top of you. If you were to stay or push towards me, right, on the right side of my frame, now I'm gonna drive left, right? If you were to cross my body, right, now I can get into my crossover coming back. So as you're pushing forward and you're in that lift, that's gonna give you the pace to read the move. Okay, so right now we're gonna come off sideline ball screen. All right, I want you guys to do 10, I'm gonna do three, come off sideline ball screen, we get into that ISO, right? Make sure you see the floor, create space, get that defender on their heels to make them think you're driving, and then we wanna rise up, right, off that dribble. Okay, now, right, off this same move with our Hezzy, we're gonna get a late shot clock. Okay, so right now we're gonna think boomerang action. So what I wanna think, first time we came off the ball screen, they switched, right, we got right to it with the handle. Right, now I'm gonna pitch it back, right, to that big or to that guard that lifted, and they're gonna pitch it right back to me. Right, so it's just a boomerang. It's bang to you, right back to me, that's what we call boomerang. Right, so now off that, I'm getting into that same move. Okay, so what we do off this, I wanna catch, right? I'm gonna give you a quick cross, put you on your heels, and then off the second move, now I'm gonna float. So, right, when you do this, right, work on different moves, but also work on different cadences, right? So when I'm doing something, right, try not to always stay in the same cadence. So maybe I, boom, hit you, pace, and then I'm up, right? Right, so what I mean by different cadences, I did that, right, I could, boom, pace, oh, hit again, pace, right, and play, with my feet, move the ball quick to slow, playing different cadences. Now that's gonna give that defender, right, different looks, it's like a pitcher. If I keep throwing fastballs, they're gonna crank it, right? You gotta give them sliders, right, change-ups and whatever else to keep them off balance, right? And then within that is when I make my reads. So we're gonna work on that boomerang, I'm quick cross, slow through, and then I'm rising right up. Uh-uh. <laughs> 